Hi, this is Donna Esten, and we're going to do the alternating cable cast on where you're alternating between a knit stitch and a purl stitch. This is really good for a one row buttonhole within seed stitch. So in our little swatch here of 10 stitches, we're going to work the first three stitches in seed stitch. We're going to keep the last three stitches in seed stitch. And we're going to bind off those center four stitches doing the one row buttonhole. We bind them off, we turn, we cable cast on, and then we continue on knitting. So to do that, we bring our yarn forward, we slip one stitch purlwise, take our yarn to the back, slip the next stitch purlwise, and pass the first stitch over it. So now one stitch has been bound off. Remember, we're binding off four stitches, so we're going to bind off three more. So slip the next stitch purlwise, and pass the next stitch over it and off the needle. Slip, pass over, and the last one slip, and pass over. We're going to return that last stitch to the left needle, so you can see we have our three and three and our center four are bound off. So let's turn our work we're going to start with a purl stitch to maintain our pattern. So we're going to, with our yarn forward, it's all ready for the purl, we're going to insert the needle between the first and second stitches on the left hand needle from back to front. We're going from back to front in between those stitches. You're going to wrap the yarn around the needle as if to purl and pull through a loop. Then you want to set that loop on the left needle. The next stitch we're going to work is a knit stitch. So we're going to take our yarn to the back, insert the needle from front to back in between the first and second stitches, always in between. Wrap the yarn around the needle as if to knit and pull through a loop. We want to make sure we set it on the left needle so it's oriented properly with the right leg in on the front of the needle. Now let's repeat those steps again. Yarn forward, come in between the stitches, wrap the yarn as if to purl, pull through a loop, and set it on the needle. Take our yarn to the back, Insert the needle in between, wrap the yarn as if to knit, pull through a loop, and set it on. Now we have four stitches cast on, we want to cast on one extra stitch. So we're going to bring our yarn forward, come in between the stitches, wrap the yarn as if to purl, pull through a loop, and set it on the needle. So now you can see we have Our three stitches on each side and then we have one two three four five cast on which is the four that we need plus the one extra so we're going to turn our work slip the first stitch on the left needle to the right needle and pass that extra cast on stitch over and off just makes it nice and tidy and now you can continue working in pattern this creates a nice base. It can lets you continue your pattern of seed stitch on top of your buttonhole. So when you turn to work the next row, your pattern is already there. And that's it. That's how you do the alternating cable cast on.